Hello there. Welcome to the weather report in the actualization zone on Facebook. I'm your host, Dr. Robin McKay. And today is October 10th, 2022. And this is our weather report for the week. You know, I don't report on the actual physical weather, rainstorms and thunder and lightning and, and those sorts of things. I really look at the non-physical energies that are influencing us this week that we can harness, that we can pay attention to and make friends with as we lean into actualizing our greatest hopes, dreams, and desires. So if you are new, please hop into the comments and say hello so I can say hi back. And if you've been here for a while, welcome back. So happy that you're here with us. If you're new to the actualization zone, welcome home. Welcome home. This place is for intelligent and intuitive leaders who are ready to create a new world for ourselves and for other people. And before I get started with the weather report, I wanted to share with you, I'm so excited because at the end of the month, October 29th and 30th, I am teaching my very, very favorite um, and kind of seminal um, energy tool, way of knowing, wisdom keeper, if you will, called the Akashic Records. And um, I'm, I've been using the Akashic Records for a very long time behind closed doors with myself, with my clients, in my classes. But now it's time. Once a year, I always do this. I teach a certification for level one of the Akashic Records, where I teach you how to open up, read, and interpret your own Akashic Records, which you have access to because they're yours. So if that's something that you want to know more about, we're going to drop a link in the comments so you can check that out. And you'll want to grab your seat at the table as soon as you get a yes, a full-bodied yes in you. I find that the Akashic Records find us. And I find that the, the person that we're meant to learn the Akashic Records from finds us too. So let that be your sign if this is something that is lighting you up. And in honor of the Akashic Records training that I'm doing at the end of the month, I'm going to use the Akashic Tarot today for our guides as we are tuning into the weather report for the week. These are by Sa uh, Sharon Ann Klingler and Sandra Ann Taylor. And Sandra Ann is somebody who I, I really like and respect, who's, a, who's a, an Akashic Records teacher as well. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead. Breathe in love, grace, and truth. And breathe out everything that doesn't serve you. And so early this week, this week is a time of reflection. We've got reflection and we've got a full moon. Actually, I think the moon was full last night. So it's a time of things coming to fruition, but it's also a time of going deeper inside of your own self and reflecting, just reflect. We spend collectively so much time doing. We're collectively very busy. We have, in my opinion, in this community, not such a great relationship with time. We never have enough time. We, maybe it's you. I have, I think I have an abundance of time at this point in my life, but I know that feeling of rushing and not having enough time. So there's an invitation here and now, here and now, to reflect, to be still, and to look inward. But I'm really, what the big message is here is just be still, be still and reflect without criticism, without judgment, but with curiosity, open heartedness, open mindedness, as you're reflecting on yourself, your life, your work. And this is especially important when you're walking the actualization path. And the, the thing that you want to create in your life, whether it's new ideal clients, new opportunities, your first 20K month in business, a raise, a promotion, whatever it is, if it's not here yet, if it's not here yet, we have a tendency to get frustrated and really start to wonder if it's ever going to arrive. I get it. I've had that happened to me time and time again. And I find two things. One is at the peak or the height of my frustration, usually the manifestation is right on the other side of that. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But the other thing is that 
when the thing that you're pursuing, when the thing that you're working on manifesting or actualizing into your life hasn't appeared yet, there's this tendency to jet out in front of yourself, to go out into the future and to seek it, to look for it, to make contact with it. And there's nothing wrong with doing that for sure. But at this point, when you're feeling frustrated or even overwhelmed or something like that about its absence from your life, it is the perfect time to sit down and just be. So we have reflection as our first card this week. And let's see what else we've got here. The Oracle of Delphi, Delphi is this card. And I'm going to open up the book and just read a little bit about this for you because I think it bears a reminder. We all kind of know what that is, but I just want to come in here and, and see what the, the book has to say about it. Um, oh, let's see. Okay. Just give me just a second here. The Oracle of Delphi is around perception and interpretation, perception and interpretation. And so when you get this card, you're in a time of great insight and psychic power. And it's interesting, of course, we're approaching the time of, of the year, the end of the month, when I'm teaching the Akashic Records certification program, actually, where the veils between the worlds are the thinnest. So your capacity to perceive beyond your five senses is going to be heightened. Your capacity to receive insights that can be game changing for you in your life. In other words, you don't have to stay on the same gerbil wheel. You can actually get off that gerbil wheel and start walking a new path right around this time. You can do that anytime, of course. But this time right around the end of October is a beautiful time to do so. Um, it's, it's an easy and graceful time to do so. So we just want to encourage you this week to start paying attention to your insights, to your intuitive abilities, to your, to your inner wisdom and inner knowing. And that is one area where the Akashic Records, working in the Akashic Records, being able to open your own records, being able to understand what the, the record keepers, your guides who have been with you since your conception as a divine and eternal being of love and light have been with you, what they have to say to you as well. So um, yeah, so the Oracle of Delphi is with us this week. It always is, but I think it's, it's great to have that awareness coming forward for this week. Pay attention to your intuition, start to trust it, start to discern intuition from fear, intuition from emotion and so on. And then we have the architect and the architect is the, the designer, the designer of your life. Remembering that you're the designer, you're the architect of your life. You co-create with the universe. And when you step into being the lead architect on your life, you have to let go of a couple of things. You have to let go of being the victim of other people's emotions, circumstances, you have to let go of the kind of victim mentality that we've been raised with collectively. Something's happening to me. I need to be rescued. I'm waiting for a savior. These are all parts of the old paradigm that are falling away as we're moving into the next chapter of, of life and the next version of our world. The way you can speed that along is by really liberating yourself from those old ways of thinking, the old ways of being in the world that um, are sometimes, they're, they're sometimes so compelling. I remember early on in the pandemic, I've had leaders come to me and say, I just want somebody to tell me what to do. And I had to give them the news, which they already knew, that no one's coming, that it's time for them as leaders to step in as leaders and make decisions. And, you know, the key to making a good decision is make your decision the right decision. Stand by it and move from there. Don't go back. Don't look back. Burn the bridges and just keep moving forward. And then the guides. I want to bring in one more card. Oh, and this is loving elementals. You know, we have all around us, 
in the natural world, we have the elements. We have wind, we have fire, we have water, we have earth, we have metal, we have all of these elements around us. And if you use your imagination, which I know that you're very capable of using your imagination, you can start to envision little elementals, little beings that are associated with, with the earth's elements. And so I want us to think this week about how can we connect in with the elements? How can we connect in with nature and allow nature to be a contribution to us, to our lives, to our work, to the journey that we're on? Have you ever been working out outside? Maybe you're doing a run in the park or something like that. It's really hot out. And then all of a sudden, there's this really beautiful breath of fresh air that comes wafting across the water and it just cools everything down. That's an example of how the elements can actually be a contribution in your life. But the thing about the elements is you have to pay attention to them. So the invitation this week, once again, is to come off of autopilot, drop into your physical body, drop into your physical body. Your body is also part of the elements. It's made up of the elements and allow your body to be a contribution to you as well. Give the body what it needs this week. If it needs more exercise, if it needs to move, if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling frustrated, if you're feeling anything other than in flow, chances are quite good that the body requires something that maybe you're not giving it, maybe you've been ignoring. So don't ignore your body this week. Make friends with your body, make friends with the elements by going out, going out in the sunshine. Let the sunshine be a contribution to you. Let the, let the wind be a contribution, the rain. Let the ground be a contribution to you. See how that shifts things for you this week. All right, so that's all I have for you today for the weather report. I will be back in the actualization zone later this week talking about the Akashic Records and how we can create miracles in our lives using this beautiful high frequency energy tool. Until then, I will see you later.